What's up friends, welcome back to True Tutorial and in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix your audio service not running on the Windows 11 PC and of course if you're also facing issues that your audio not working or your speaker is not working on your computer whether you're using an external speaker and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and fix this like a pro. Before we jump in guys, would you mind taking a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video. And on top of that, the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Now, let's continue. Right, so what you want to do, the first thing that I would recommend that you do is to ensure that your speaker is plugged into your computer properly. And of course, you want to ensure that it's turned on. If it has like a plug that you need to plug it into the outlet, then you want to ensure that it's plugged in and you want to ensure that it's turned on. These are basic stuff, right? Then you want to plug it into your computer and ensure that it is detected, right? And of course, you also want to ensure that you want to test it a different way to ensure that the speaker is in fact working right so if you have like one of those normal jacks that you plug into your computer then you can easily find a different phone or something that you can connect to if you're using it in a bluetooth manner then you can easily go ahead and try to connect like your phone to the speaker ensure that the speaker is working that's the first thing now the next thing is as well you want to ensure that if you're using this external speaker then you want to try your computer by itself to ensure that your computer is working so you want to ensure that if you're plugging just a normal like a headphone jack from that speaker into your computer you can try one of those normal headphones that you can plug into your computer just to ensure that your computer is working fine and that there is no defect there with your computer now the next thing that you want to do is to click the speaker icon on the lower right hand side then you want to ensure that your speaker is not muted right so if it's not muted and it's not turned down then you want to ensure that you click this icon here and this is going to show you what speaker is selected so as you can see right now it is shown a sure microphone well not really a microphone i'm using the sure speaker but if you connect your headset into the microphone then it's going to also detect under this as well and of course you have the normal output as well which is your normal speaker the real tech audio here so this is also there so if you're using externally you want to ensure that the correct one is selected no if there's no issue here guys and it's totally okay and you ensure that the correct one is selected then you want to go ahead and try the services so click the windows icon here on your keyboard or on your computer taskbar and simple type in services right you will see the system services you want to go ahead and open that now from here just go ahead and click anywhere and just simple type in w and this will take you under the services now you want to go ahead and look for windows audio and from here you want to go ahead and either right click on it and go to properties and this will open up and you can easily go ahead and see if the startup type is set to automatic if it is set to like manual or it's disabled then you want to ensure that it's set to automatic and if it's currently running you can either stop it and start it again or you can simply go ahead ensure when you click on it from here you can easily click restart on the upper left hand side so you want to restart the service you want to do the same thing for the windows audio endpoint builder as well so you can easily go ahead and double click on it and you can stop it and start it ensure that the startup type is set to automatic and go ahead and click ok and you can also restart the service as well right so i want to ensure when you restart these services sometimes it's always best to just quick reboot your computer just to ensure that everything is working fine so the next troubleshooting step that i would like to share with you in order to fix this issue guys is by simple going to your device manager so you can right click on the windows icon on your taskbar here and you simply want to go to device manager right this will open up your device manager and from here you want to go ahead and look for audio input and output so you want to expand this and you want to go ahead and find your audio so you want to go ahead and ensure that whatever you're using let's say i'm using the shore you can go ahead and you can right click on that and you can update the driver whatever speaker you're using for sure you don't want to do it this way you want to go ahead and get the right software for sure but if you're using whatever speaker you can go ahead and you can do so to update it as well and if you want to fix this for example the real text audio you can do the same thing right click and update it as well so to do that you can simply go ahead and just right click on it so you click update driver here and you can search automatic 
or you can simply go ahead and also choose the option to do like browse your computer then go ahead and choose the option that says let me pick from a list of available drivers and you can find the ones that are there and you can do it but do the automatic way normally go ahead and search automatically for the latest driver so this is a way how to do it so ensure that you come to device manager here and you can update it now i also want to recommend if you're looking for a specialized driver or you want to ensure that you find the latest driver for real tech you can always you do a google search and type in real tech audio driver and go to the official website in order to find the latest version there so that as well is a proper way how to go ahead and find the latest drivers for your computer but windows is doing a good job so you can easily go ahead and update drivers from here it will automatically find and install the latest driver for you right now the next thing that you want to do is find the sound settings so again click the windows key on your keyboard and type in sound settings and you can easily go ahead and find sound settings here so from here you want to scroll all the way down to where you'll find more sound settings click on that and from here you'll find all those devices so based on which one you're connected to whether you're connected to a normal speaker or whatever it might be you want to go ahead and open it as you can see i'm using the sure as i mentioned before i'm going to still use this as an example you want to ensure that this is set as your default as you can see below here it is showing default so you want to right click and you want to ensure that it is set as default and as you can see here it says set as default so you can always go ahead and set as default if the one that you want to use is not set as default you can always double click on it and you want to go ahead and go to advance and from here if you have the availability to choose the quality you want to use the highest quality right this is already set by the app so as you can see it's saying studio quality here and this is already set by the app but depending on the speaker or the microphone or whatever your the audio device you're trying to use you might have the option to enable it from here and also test it you also can go ahead and disable these two check marks for exclusive mode you can also uncheck these boxes as well click ok and you will do it from there as i said you want to ensure that this is set to enabled and also it is set to your default as well and as you can see here this is for playback so if you're looking for recording device you can also come here and you can try to fix it. you can do the same thing as well and so forth and so forth right so this is basic stuff here guys now the next troubleshooting step that i want to ensure that you follow guys click the windows key again and simply type in troubleshoot and by the time you start to type troubleshoot you will see troubleshooting settings come up so click on troubleshooting settings and from here you want to click other troubleshooters and from here you will see the audio as one of them so go ahead and click on run there and once you click on run allow it to do its check and once it is completed you will know where the issue is it will try to fix it and if it's not able to fix it it will give you recommendation what might be the problem right so from there you know which step to take and how you can solve the problem from there going forward but once you do that guys go ahead and restart your computer guys and i wish you the best of luck that you'll be able to fix the issue that you're currently facing with your audio service or your audio device on your windows 11 pc here you have it guys i really hope you found value within this video and if you do don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one thank you guys for watching and see you next time